Hey guys, long time, no video. Sorry about that. Things have been getting kind of crazy around here this past winter. Uh, so I was not spending a lot of money on all my cool new merchandise that I usually spend my money on. Um, please don't mind, Athena the Hedgehog is awake in her ca uh, cage behind me. Um, so she's making some banging noises. She'll be kind of in the background here. I um, mean, you might hear a husky whine as well. He's a little upset. Dad's outside mowing the lawn and he can't be out there with him. Um, so recently I've been getting a lot of my purchases in. I actually have several boxes that should be coming from Japan here pretty soon. Um, but I did get some cool stuff. Um, as I'm sure a lot of you know, free comic book day 2018 was yesterday, May 5th. Um, so I did go out and do that as well. So I have some cool pictures and, um, some, a stack of comic books that I can show you that I was able to pick up completely for free thanks to our local comic book stores here in Omaha. Um, to start, I've been getting really big into buying uh, fan art and things like that off of Redbubble. Um, if you've never purchased from Redbubble before, it's a very neat place. You can usually get stickers, mugs, cups, just about anything that you'd like that you can usually get personalized. Um, you can get off of there. Um, I've been big into the stickers lately because I take them and I put them on a uh, magnetic sheet and I turn them into magnets that sit on my fridge so then I get to look at them all the time instead of sticking them to a surface that might get ruined later. Um, so some of the more recent ones that I've picked up um, is this Inuyasha, um, this guy here, and there's also the King of Hearts from G Gundam which is my husband's favorite. Uh, and then I also picked up, um, if you have a second, guys, and you're looking for a good cause to donate to, please think of donating to Banner the Superdog on Facebook. Um, she's a cosplaying service animal. Um, she, uh, her and her mom are going through some tough times right now. I mean, I like to support them in any way I can, including various donations. Um, and they also have a Redbubble account, um, which I can get the link down below, but I'm pretty sure that the username is Odie the Wolf. Um, but she likes to draw little sketches of Banner and put her on things. I have both of the stickers that are currently available, but you can also get shirts, cups, things like that as well. She also has a Teespring account, um, so please think of checking in on them um, if you've got a little money to spare and want some cute husky gear. Um, and then thanks to the C uh, Cardcaptor Sakura Clear Card Arc or CCSCS, C-A, huh? Um, I, of course, picked up some cool, a uh, cool um, card capture sticker to add to my wall of magnets on the fridge. Um, I also got um, one of those body pillows. You know, you get those body pillows from Japan that has the characters on them. I found an Inuyasha one. So I got this nice Inuyasha one, and there's a regular version on one side. And then this one's not so bad. Um, some of them get kind of crazy with the sexy side of the pillow, but this one's not too awful. Um, so I feel comfortable sharing it. I don't actually own any of the other crazy ones that you can find, but um, I do own this one. And I'm planning to get the pillow for it soon. It'll be my convention pillow to take with me when we st stay nights in hotels. Um, as for... Uh, free comic book day. I was able to get a substantial amount of comics. Um, I didn't spend as much money on comics this year as I have in years past. This year I actually focused on card games. Um, I was able to find at our one of our local Dragon Slayers these cool Dragon Ball Z starter deck packs. Um, we have the Evolution and then the actual Dragon Ball Z starter pack for the Panini Dragon or Shenron as we typically know him here. Um, so I got these really cool. They were in the clearance room at Dragon's Lair, so I grabbed them while I was there. Um, and I also got a crap ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Thanks to some fanfiction written by Pretty Ugly on fanfiction.net. Um, she's also on Tumblr, um, AO3, and she's a Patreon as well, all under the same name, I believe. Um, I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! after watching the show, um, once more. So I've been spending a lot of my time hanging out in the Yu-Gi-Oh! world. Um, so I did get a crap ton of cards. So 
insert card pictures and all the cool goodies I caught while I was hanging out at Free Comic Book Day. All right, now that that's done and over with, um, on to the cool comics I got this year. This year, um, here's my giant stack. All of these were free. I did not pay for any of them. Um, and the reason why is some of them I have duplicates of. Um, the, this year, it was a very big list of comic books that were being offered for free, and not all comic book stores offered the same ones. Um, it was just a matter of what they could get a hold of. Uh, we went to three different local comic book stores here, and picked up a whole bunch and then I grabbed some extras for friends who weren't able to make it. Uh, the My favorite part about them are though that uh, Dragon Slayer also does a, you get the five that are the free for free comic book day, but then you can get an extra 10 um, from all of their back stock issues. And it can be from free comic book days from the past if you missed something or wanted to grab one you weren't able to the year before. Um, and then a lot of the older issues. Uh, so I usually end up picking up a lot of the older issues. Um, some of them that are a little harder to find and get around here. I was able to get there as well. Um, so we'll just start off. These are the ones I picked up extras of is the new My Hero Academia featuring Ruby as well. Um, I had some friends that wanted them but couldn't make it, so I picked it up for them. Um, we went to three comic book stores, so I was able to get one of each. I don't like to pick up multiples at the same store. I just think that's unfair. Um, so I always pick them up extra at the other places. Um, we also stopped at Half Price Books, so I've got some comic books here that I actually picked up at a bookstore instead. They weren't on sale and they weren't free, but I did pick them up. We'll get to those in a little bit. But I also got this really cool edition of Harley Quinn. Um, Harley's one of my favorite DC characters, so of course I had to grab it. Um, I got Avengers, The Origin of the Man Called Rage. Uh, a Miss Marvel, which is one of, it looks like a newer edition if I'm reading everything correctly, but uh, it's a Miss Marvel comic with her movie coming out here next year. It's kind of got a lot of hype around it, so I figured why not pick some stuff up. I got Blood Ties Part 2 of 5 X-Men with good old Captain America on the front cover. I do have a couple of the other ones for this, so I actually did have a reason for picking them up. Um, and then this was a free comic book day issue for a previous year I'm looks like 2012 or something but anyway um this was the issue I was able to get it's for the uh, one of the infinity wars type series um, I picked up what's called the mortal instruments the graphic novel this is a mature reader uh, comic book so it comes in the plastic sleeve because I don't want little kids looking at them. Um, and then I picked up The Avengers, The Trial of the Yellow Jacket. 
I also picked up this issue of the Avengers. I thought it looked interesting. I grabbed the Mighty Avengers The Race Walk Among Us. Uh, Avengers West Coast. This is one of the free comic book day ones that were for this year's Transformers Unicron. So I grabbed one of them. Um, this one is as two. It, this one was also one that you could gear towards children. It's for all ages. Um, I've never seen, one, seen it before. It looked interesting. Grabbed it. It's called the Worm World Saga. Uh, this one I purchased from one of our local Ground Zeroes. It's a Captain America variant edition cover. Issue 70 with Deadpool on the front. So I had to pick it up because I was like, wait, Captain America, Deadpool. Sometimes I just like to pick things up just because they look interesting. Um, I was able to get this issue of the Spectacular Spider-Man. It's a zombie issue, it looks like. Oh. This was a free comic book day one as well. The Amazing Spider-Man with as big as he's gotten lately. Um, I wasn't surprised to see him included. I picked up Pokemon Sun and Moon, which you'll notice is backwards like an anime. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, they're becoming big again after the release of the movies, so of course I had to pick it up as well. Grew up with them as a kid, had to grab it. Uh, this issue of Captain America, this is one of the ones I picked up at the bookstore, you'll notice it has an actual price tag. That's because I actually paid for it. So I picked up this issue of Captain America. You're going to start noticing a trend real quick. This issue of Captain America. Yeah, I kind of have a thing for him. Um, Guardians of Nowhere. Literally nowhere. Um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. This issue of Captain America. And I was actually quite pleased to find this issue of the Infinity War. Um, with the movie having come out, it's actually pretty difficult around here anyway to find things involving Infinity War. Um, this is a, an older comic. It's an older edition. It's a 1992 is the year that's written on it. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up because it's a lot of fun. My husband's playing with the hose. Oh, and I didn't grab a couple because they got stuck. I also grabbed this one that was part of Free Comic Book Day, Disney Princess featuring Ariel. Um, Little Mermaid's one of my favorites, so, so of course I'm going to grab her. And the Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers, which was also a Free Comic Book Day one this year. Big Marvel theme this year, I noticed. Most of the comic books that you could pick up were actually Marvel related, uh, which is cool. Um, and then on to the, I'm kind of combining videos here today because um, I had a lot going and come in all at one time. Um, we're going to add in the shipment I got from um, HobbyLinkJapan.com. Came in today. I had a bunch of stuff pre-ordered and it finally all came in. Um, including the High Tech C Coletto pen. Sealer Moon released a giant uh, section of them. I only grabbed a couple. I have another one coming here this week. Um, mostly because I didn't necessarily like all of the versions. As I'm sure I've said in almost all of my videos, I'm not necessarily a fan of the inner scouts. So I typically pick up things that are the outers or um, Chibi Moon, Sailor Moon, and just Tuxedo Mask. So I did pick up this one here. Um, these pens are really cool. They come empty, so there is no ink in them. I actually have ink coming from Japan here. I'll probably have it in about three weeks or so. But you actually, when you get it, it comes as this empty shell with some springs in it. And you pop it open through here and you just tip it back gently maybe with your thumb like that and you open it up and then you can slide your inks in here if it's four inks of uh, the four millimeter inks that you can get you can also do the pencil and it, you there's an eraser option as well um, so I have one of every color of the inks that were released with this pen coming from Japan as well as another pen later this week that's the outers version. Um, so right now I just have the Chibi Moon and it's an empty shell because I'm waiting on my inks to come in. Cardcaptor Sakura Clear Card Arc has been a humongous release. They did a pop-up shop 
in uh, Japan Kitty Land, and they've also released a bunch of new clear card merchandise, which of course means, guess what I've been spending most of my money on? A good portion of the box that I have coming from Japan that I literally just paid for shipping for this morning is going to be mostly Card Captor Sakura because my lovely proxy service, service uh, No Country for Tall Men, which you can find on Facebook, um, did a run to the pop up shop in Kitty Land, and guess who spent a lot of money getting stuff there? So until that lovely box comes in. I do have the stuff that came in from Hobby Link Japan, which was a bunch of my bigger stuff. Um, I used them this time instead of No Country for Tall Men um, because they were running a sale, so I got it a little cheaper than buying it at full price. Um, but I added in this lovely keychain, which was released around the same time. It's got, there you go, Sharon and Sakura on it. Um, this thing is huge, like, 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 huge. For a keychain, this is ginormous. Like, I'm sure it's actually inspired to be used on, like, school bags, things like that in Japan. Um, but for me, this as a keychain is obnoxious. Not that I, I don't usually use my purchases like these as actual keychains. I, I actually have a section up here on the wall where I just hang them up on cute little hooks so I can stare at them all the time. So I'm not actually ever going to use it as a keychain, but just to warn you, if you're wanting to, and you've purchased one, this thing's a little big. Um, and it's nice because you can see all the pretty details in the keychain and they did such a great job with the actual making of the product. It's a nice hard acrylic. Um, but for me in general to use this, like to put it on your keys, this is huge. So I would definitely recommend sticking this on bags, purses, um, anything like that instead of your actual keychain. Cause this, if you keep your keys in your pocket or you, you're like me and they get buried in the bottom of your purse and you're constantly tugging on things, this is a little too big. Um, I also ordered, I was very excited to see this product. It's kind of a different one. I know that they probably really only made it because Sailor Moon did their own version several months earlier of the tarot card set. So I purchased it. I know that it's actually bad luck to buy yourself tarot cards, um, but seeing as how I'm never going to really use these for tarot purposes, just so that I can look at them and say that they're pretty, I decided to buy them for myself instead of hint at wanting them as a gift since you're not supposed to ask for tarot cards as gifts either. Um, it's classified as bad luck, bad energy for your cards. While it's not technically considered something taboo that you shouldn't do always, it just means you have an extra couple processes to, um, to clean them, I guess is the best term to put it, um, to clean the energy off of them so that they're ready to be used as tarot cards, or at least that's what they say. Um... But I did get the lovely Card Captor Sakura set. I could not resist. It comes with all the little clear cards plus people cards. Um, and of course everything's in Japanese so I can't really read it a whole lot. But I'm sure eventually I'll find an online version on how to do it. Um, but it comes with all of like the cards and how to read them. It comes with the instruction booklet and shows you how to put the booklet together. So that you can read it as a book when you're doing your cards. Um, so I thought that that was really cool. I just had to grab it. Um, it's a little on the pricier side, um, but then again, most tarot card sets are. I think that one I paid 3,500 yen, which is just under $35 USD. Um, so it's not too, too bad. Uh, if you're looking for something cool to get a lot of the cute cards from the new arc, um, but it is a little on the pricey side if you're wanting to use it for tarot. I know there are some places you can get stuff like that cheaper. My biggest item, which I am most excited about because as you as I've posted in other videos, I actually own the other two wands. Takara Tomi released the Dream Wand. Um, and this is the one where you get the interactive cards. The wand takes batteries. You take the batteries in it and put them in there and then you can put them next to your cards and they'll uh, 
Sakura's voice will talk about the cards, um, act like she's using them, things like that. It's usually a couple different phrases. Now, with the arc being ongoing, they only released the wand and the first few cards that have been released in the show. So the other two sets, because there's a set for each wand, um, the other two sets have a book, a complete set of cards, and a key as well as a stuffed animal. One of them is his Kiro, and then for the second season, it's Soupy. Um, but this so far, because the set is not complete, Takara told me I only released the wand. But if you're curious, here's like the instructions on how you do it. You put it near the wand, or put the wand near the card, and it'll play. It also uh, makes noise and stuff when you move it around. Um, and then it shows you here which cards it comes with. Um, and then here on the back is just a really nice pretty uh, detail of it. I guess I could turn it sideways so you could actually see it. And then on this side here it's just her silhouette to look all pretty on a shelf or something. Um, so I know that they released an actual cosplay version of this wand. It's supposed to be a little more accurate. It's an actual staff. I know a lot of people complained um, when both were released relatively close to each other because then you had to decide did you want the toy wand which is technically a kid's version of the wand or if you wanted the cosplay version and there was a huge price difference. The cosplay version was a little over 250 uh, dollars US and this one I paid just under 94 um, I personally wanted both but of course you have to make sacrifices when you're collecting things so I actually only have this one I did not purchase the other um, more so because I have this set of the other two I have almost the entire sets for the other ones so I just I I couldn't I couldn't justify spending the money for two of the exact same wand the only difference being that one's a cosplay alone wand so the cosplay wand ended up being a little longer because this is a kids version is what they um, technically consider it it is a toy in Japan um, so it's a lot longer of a staff to get the cosplay version the wings are bigger and it's um, much better quality for cosplaying purposes. Now I don't use mine to cosplay, I actually just use mine to just hang out on a wall and look pretty because that's what I like to use them for. Um, so I didn't mind spending the money so that I could have the complete set. So, so far I have all of it. Um, when they start releasing the other pieces, the box, the cards, the key, and if they release a stuffed animal with it. Um, that as well. I, my guess is that it would probably be Momo if you've read the series or watched it. Um, but I'm not actually sure since we aren't quite sure where the story's taking us just yet. So, just to give you guys a little bit of an update, I wanted to show you the most recent things. This is actually the most I've gotten in a long time. Um, I haven't really been ordering a whole lot. Um, been getting into a lot of uh, drawing and art again so most of my money has been going to art supplies and things like that um, so I have a lot of people that have been interested in some of the stuff I've done so I've actually been selling my artwork as well just to kind of give you a little example this is the current piece that I'm working on the lighting in this room's a little terrible so you can't really see it a whole lot um, but she's just this cute little anime girl holding some poppies it was a personal request from a friend so that's what I've been doodling and messing with lately um, along with my big mass of orders from my new little Yu-Gi-Oh community um, I've been thinking about opening a patreon account myself but I had to don't I'm not quite sure if people would be interested in paying for me to do pretty art updates and story updates because I write a lot of fan fiction as well um, things like that so I haven't quite gotten that far yet but if you're interested in me opening one and wanting to support me um, please let me know in the comments below um, I can based off of interest um, open one up and see what it's all about 
Um, so, in the next couple weeks, I have more boxes coming. I have another box from Japan coming with some Sailor Moon stuff, as well as the Card Captor Sakura run. I also have a pre order that's supposed to be coming in at the end of May, beginning of June in Japan, which means I'll be getting it closer to the end of June, beginning of July. Um, so I have that coming as well. And of course, my proxy service, No Country for Tall Men, always does runs several times, maybe once or so a month, um, to like the different pop-up stores and the Sailor Moon store. So I have some other stuff coming that I've been ordering as they've been releasing new cool stationery set stuff, um, everyday use items that I like to have around the house. So I have some of that that will be coming probably with that pre-order that I'll be getting in later in this summer. Um, otherwise, it's head on for convention. Let's get ready. This is your reminder that those places that you order custom stuff from is going to take a good six to eight months to get your products sent out to you, um, especially if you're doing custom sizes. So now's the time to start measuring, figuring out your money, and getting your costumes ordered. Um, so here's your reminder at the end of the video, if you convention for the fall, because our convention here locally is in November, then now's the time to start getting all your stuff ready to go so that you can get your costumes ordered and in on time. Until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.